Ahoy, fellas! I'm not gonna lie, I do not remember what I was doing in the slightest. So, yeah. Oh, you know what? I remember now. We're going, we're going up top, because this whole place just moved. In that case, I know exactly where I should go. Up top, because this whole place just moved. Didn't I just say that? Come on, go with the program already. Okay, can't we, like, shake these freaking bugs off of it? Us, at least. Oh, um, huh. That's, uh, that's, uh, maybe a bit of a concern there. I have, uh, one concern here with how this... I swear the one concern theme sounds like Bowser's theme from Super Mario 64. Like... Okay, it doesn't sound like it right now, but just the... The beginning, I, I would say baseline, but I guess, kind of. Anyways, whatever. It sounds like... It, it, it sounds reminiscent of it. Anyways. No idea. Maybe they intended to starve us out here or something. Hopefully they don't have some nasty giant robot surprise for us. I have an idea. I will shoot you on the spot. Like this. Ball. Yep. And now I will throw a block at you. Okay, that was kind of underwhelming. Are there at least more soldiers or something for me to shoot to death? Oh, I see. Okay, that... okay. Sure. Yep, makes makes total sense. I just jumped on his head. You know that that would take a guy out. I'm being honest here. That would absolutely take a guy out if you just drop kicked his head. So I guess that makes sense. That probably makes more sense than a lot of things in uh, terms of survivability in this game. So yeah, I can appreciate that. These guys are wacky. I well maybe not actually die but you know okay pal you really gotta be a bit quicker to on the draw if you're gonna try and shoot me man holy holy get closer I dare you yeah whim okay I take it back sheesh I don't actually take it back lol did I even... did I even need to come through here? I didn't, did I? You're telling me everyone else is just gonna hide while I have to rid this place of... Oh, God. Oh, I see the counter now. I have to do pest control while everybody else just hides? Come on. Lame. Oh! Okay, never mind. That, uh, would have been interesting, but, you know, I guess too good to be true. There we go. Just smack him with a wrench. I keep forgetting that I have this big wrench primed for smacking. Smacking grown men on the head, of course. Remember not to smack grown men on the head with a big wrench, because that doesn't always go very well, honestly. Fun movie about that with the guy that plays Dwight. Exactly that. There's nothing else that happens in the film at all. Yep. He just smacks people on the head with a big wrench. Boy, stop that. There we go. Ah, uh, you know, they sure pumped a lot of these freaking fellas down here. Okay, didn't I already kill you? Boink, I guess, is the real... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have one of these charged. Yep. The plan. I literally just smacked you in the face with a big wrench, and he didn't even... Okay, there we go. Finally! The pest control episode. We did it, guys. We controlled the pests. Alright. Huh. Our one remaining defense robot was destroyed by some way a while ago. Huh, yeah. You know, it would have been nice if we didn't destroy the defense robot, 
but um, oh well. Just, I guess I'm the defense robot now. Fun. Oh, nice! Electric wrench. Does that mean I don't have to uh, uh, swing it? No, of course that's not actually what it means. Oh, interesting. Could you uh, please do a second round of checks, though, through town? Before I unlock all the panic rooms? Sure. Wow, I have no idea what that did. I have a, a good idea what it did, but I'm just gonna say that I don't know what it did. Now I'm charged. I'm charged. Watch, it's gonna be like, all I have to do is talk to the guy. And he'll be like, oh yeah, you're right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift all of the security doors. Also, I have passed like five people. They're not behind any kind of panic door. Right? Do the scientists not count as people in the society or something like that? Mm hmm. I don't think you want to go down that, uh, that path, fellas. Just that are good enough to not have a consistent water level. Uh, you're definitely gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna want to have something to do with them. Probably. There we go. Yeah. I love puzzles. Oh boy. That thing sucks, and I hate it so much. Turn around, you stupid moron. Turn around fa- like- yeah. Ah. Uh... Don't worry, fellas. I have to play the game, so I'm in more pain than you are. <laughs> uh, apparently, I should have seen this coming sooner. The way to get engagement is to talk about furries. I should have seen it coming. So I'm gonna talk about furries more, I guess. So, um... I don't actually- WHY DID I DO THAT? This is- this sucks. Dude. Dude, I'm back at square one. Uh, great. 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 I'm not gonna act like I don't understand the allure of, uh, of, uh, of, like, animal ear girls. For one, you have that whole spectrum of, um, of, uh, of furry, where you go from, like, animal characteristics to anthropomorph to just animal, right? And if you're in animals, that's, that's just straight up weird, right? I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and say that I know exactly where to draw the line where it becomes bestiality instead of just being weird and kind of okay, you know, only about as weird as um, a lot of the other things that some people find themselves into. Uh huh. So I would say that my line is probably when. Um, uh, I would have, you know, that my line would be like the snout. At the point where you have a snout, it's not hot anymore. But at the same time, well, that's another thing. I don't think Diane is hot because she like looks pretty or anything. She looks like a fox. All I had to do was come here, bruh. But anyways, Diane looks like a fox, you know? But she acts like a really hot girl. <laughs> and so it's like, um, <laughs> just normal science. Just let me leave this sinkhole without any of you following me. Sheesh. <laughs> Maybe I'll let you find her lying around somewhere as long as you leave me alone. Sheesh. I'm leaving. Yeah, that sucks. So anyways, as I was saying, I thought it would be the snout. You know, I really did. I would be like, yeah, once they have a snout, that's not cool. But Diane's pretty hot, I gotta say. But Diane, the, 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 the mannerisms are what gets me with Diane, right? And, um, hey, I feel like I know where this place is. Not really. 
Hey, that's a bad word. You can't say that. Come on. Alright, well, let's swim over. Oh. Guess we're not doing that. Uh, fine. Let's go console this freaking pirate girl. Hey! You weren't here before. How about that? Basically, basically, my line is when you start having, like, pause and crap. Like, I think very specifically, the point at which the fingers have the pads. Now, I know what you're thinking. I have never seen that in any traditional media, and you would be right. Because only people that are sick in the head draw that, and the way that they draw it makes them more sick in the head. So, that's that's what I'm going to say. Yeah, I don't care. You're right. So, basically, yeah, that's it. Tails, ear, ears and tails, they're great. Ears and tails will always be great, right? Um, it's always interesting thinking about if they still have human ears, because typically, like, uh, God, Kitsune are drawn with hair that would cover their ears anyways. Oftentimes. You don't really think about it, like, they just don't have human ears, do they? <laughs> Is there just, there's just a hole? Not even a hole, there's just blank space where the ear should be <laughs> on a human. And I think that disconnect would definitely... I think that, that disconnect alone is probably maybe one of the weirder things about, like, animal ear girls, you know? In that they don't have normal ears, and that would probably irk me in some way if we did have cat girls, right? Um, so, there's that. I just... It's been five minutes since I started talking about this. You know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Maybe I don't know if this counts as being ahead, but it counts as me quitting. I'm going with you. Yes, I am too nice. I'm gonna go with you anyways for the sake of um the plot. I'm gonna save the game again for the sake of my sanity, and then I'm gonna keep talking about cat girls and stuff. So on the nature of ears. I almost want to say that a full animal head is better than a human head. But if we're talking about actually being sexy, then definitely more human is better. But in as far as that goes, I'm not a furry or someone who is sexually attracted to animals. So I would also find, um, I don't know, a girl that has no ears or tail but maybe acts feline sort of, or in a way that could be thematically feline, you know, foxy, you know, <laughs> that would be interesting, I guess, but then again, it's not like I would have enjoyed spending time with Mozart, did you know, fun fact, Mozart would, would act like a cat when he got bored, he would like jump on tables and crap and like push glasses off of tables and stuff. And meow. That's right, Mozart was a freaking freak. Holy. Shout out to Mozart, man. Oh my gosh. I have to play Mozart. I like how I like how that's the guy that is like the litmus test for whether or not you can play any instrument. So can you but can you play Mozart? <laughs> sure I can. Meow. That's my Mozart, yeah. Anyways, I think that's enough for today. <laughs> yep. Till next time, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll beat you to death. <laughs> Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.